This video gives you a quick introduction to deploying OnDuty's new Web Access software. The Employee Web Access application is built using Microsoft's ASP.NET development platform. ASP.NET is Microsoft's core technology for developing and operating intelligent web-based software applications. OnDuty uses AJAX extensions to provide powerful user interface features that make web-based applications look and behave more like installed Windows applications. This application is installed on your agency's web server running Microsoft's Internet Information Services, commonly referred to as IIS, version 6.0 or higher. In addition to IIS, your server must have the .NET Framework and AJAX Extensions 1.0 for .NET 2.0 installed. The .NET Framework and AJAX Extensions can be downloaded free from Microsoft's website. If this is the first ASP.NET 2.0 application that you have installed on your server, you might want to do a little bit of reading up on how to set it up. It's not that hard, but there are a lot of little details that have to be attended to. Your first step is to create a folder on the server where the website will reside. You can place this folder in the root of the default website, usually located at c colon backslash inet pub backslash www root. Alternatively, you can put the folder somewhere else on the server and create a virtual directory under IIS that points to the physical directory. You'll want to edit the IIS properties of the folder where you are keeping on duty. The default document for the on-duty application is called default.aspx. You will have to tell IIS to look for this file as the starting point of the application. You will also set its .NET property to version 2.0 if it is not already set that way by default. In some cases, you may experience difficulty with IIS having permission to access the files in the on-duty folder. Be sure to give the internet guest account on the server, read and execute permission on the folder and its contents. Before OnDuty's web access application can run successfully, you have to tell it where your OnDuty database is located. This information is defined in the web.config file that is located in the root of the OnDuty web folder. You can edit this file using Notepad, as it is a Windows text file. Typically, the only thing you have to change in the web.config file is the name of the server where OnDuty's database is stored. If you use a named instance of SQL Server, don't forget to follow the server name with a backslash followed by the name of the instance. There are many ways to direct users to the web address of the application. If you have an existing intranet, you can link to it from your existing site. If you want OnDuty visible from the internet, then you will need to configure your agency's firewall and domain name service to direct traffic to the site based on a registered internet domain or by linking from a publicly visible website. If you are not sure how to do all that, we recommend that you retain a local expert at deploying websites to assist you. Jivasoft will try to be helpful, but we cannot assume responsibility for configuring your network to make on duty visible from the internet. 